Hello guys, welcome back to episode five of Oh my Christ, fuck off! Move Oh my god, if I die this early. Shit Holy fuck nuggets, right. Anyway, what I was trying to explain was I've spent the last hour, hour and a half searching these hallways, running away from this asshole before me, trying to find out what the hell to do. Turns out I had to find a key for the student department, which I read on my notes that I have. But the key was the hardest thing in the world to fucking find. I found it. After, like I say, an hour, hour and a half of pissing around. So, pick up the key. Wonderful, think I'm getting somewhere in life. Only for that arsehole behind the door to kill me once again. I'm not pissed off. <laughs> so anyway, let me show you where this key was and how difficult it was to find. I really need to heal myself because if a ghost hits me now I'm dead. And I don't think I could cope much more. Did I put a coin in? I want one of them lunchbox things. Yes. Give me that. Thank you. Okay, right. I'm not dead dead. I'm just dying. Right. Let me show you guys what I mean. So, in this room, this lovely jacket here, which I clicked on before for nothing to be there. But, oh wait. You have to turn around to the pocket to find the key. Now, don't get me wrong, keys should be in pockets. But fucking hell that is hard to find. Literally. I could have done like three episodes on just trying to find that damn key. So now, we go to the student department, which is on the next floor I do believe and we can carry on playing the game yes it is it's on the second floor shit 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 fucking guy won't leave me alone Is he coming? Is he coming or what? Like, seriously. I guess not. Mm, I am scared. Oh, let me guess, he's still up there. Okay, we've got to be quick about this. Come on, quick, quick, quick! I don't care about you telling me I unlocked it, just fucking get in there what was that oh my god right okay so now what do we oh I need to turn the light on I'm 
swear to God, if he comes in here, I'm possibly going to cry. Right, belt it pen. Cool, I can save it again, which I keep forgetting to do. Oh, hello, what's this? Oh yeah, another instant lunchbox. Nothing. I don't know how he hasn't seen me. I, d I, d d uh, um, I better not move. Okay, that's the... strangest thing that has ever happened. Oh my god, I can't believe that. What's that noise? Oh no, that's a- oh, you bitch! God fucking damn it! Oh, what is this? An eye testing lens on the left. Oh, fucking hell sake, fire. All right, nothing of nothingness. Right, I did read one of my notes saying about the chalkboard in here. Um, not being able to see it with light. So off goes the light and we have no chalk. Right, where's this fucking document at? Um, all teachers working night shifts. The passcode to the principal's office has been changed due to a recent leak of the previous code. The code is on the chalkboard in the student department office, written with a piece of special chalk that is invisible under fluorescent light. Okay. Um, oh, 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 oh! I got a lighter. Ta-da! Right. Okay. Um, one thing I notice is these are Chinese or or is is there Korean symbols? But yeah, these are not English. <laughs> Fuck! Right, so there's the numbers. And there's the things. The only thing I can see is these middle ones are all the same, pretty much. Okay. They don't even match! But none of them match. This is so confusing. So, I mean, that first letter of the T looks a little bit like that six. What the thing in the middle is, I have no idea. Oh my Christ. Right, okay. So, <laughs> <coughs> I have been staring at this for ages. And it is not turning English for some strange and unknown reason. However, this game has beaten me. I have succumbed to... Google to find out what the hell this is. Um, I still don't fully understand. Apparently these symbols here are sub subtractions and the others are these which I have no clue what the hell it is because none of it looks anything like it. However, I think I know what the password is. 
I do believe it is. Two, eight, four, and one. Now, I would love to say I completely figured this puzzle out and that I'm an absolute genius at playing games, but I'm not and I didn't. So, right. Shit, what was it? Oh my god, I forgot. Oh. Two, no. Two. Two, eight, four, one. Two, eight, four, one. Right. Oh, right. No janitor, please. Two, eight, four, one. If this is not right, I qu Wait. Where is he? He's fucking after me, ain't he? Shit. Oh my god, what was the code? 2841, right. Is this even... Yes, this is the right place. Right, okay. Please be right, please be right. Two, eight, four, one. Oh my God, thank you, Google. I love you so much. Right. Let's see what we gotta do now. Not much. Oh, there's absolutely nothing in there that's helpful. This is not going very well. Shit. 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 Shit! Leave me the fuck alone! Oh, bollocks. I can't get stuck because if he hits me again, I'm dead. Oh my god. Please go away. Just leave me be. Oh, right, thank God for that. I need... that. Thank you very much. Oh, don't start flushing at me. I am not in the mood for your crap. Pun intended. Please say he's gone in there. Oh my god. Oh, what's the code? I don't have to punch it in again, do I? Oh, thank god for that. Right. Right, I'll continue my search now. The principal's document. J1 Kim. Jai? J? Jai? I don't know. Uh, right. Committed suicide on school grounds in 2000. Number two, no family or friends appeared after his death. Number three, seemed antisocial and exhibited eccentric behaviour from the start. Created and spread rumours about a conspiracy in the school. Showed some signs of paranoia. Installed a lock on the music supply room for his exclusive use and would hide the piano chair key so nobody else could find it. <laughs> a baller. He was being closely monitored around the time of his death. Not very well. 
The possibility of murder cannot, uh, cannot be ruled out, but given the weight of the evidence found, it is most likely that he committed suicide. How many people are there? Oh, only four, right. Um, Na Yong Han, a top student during her first two years, but her grades began to fall when she entered the thir her third year. The cause of her grade slipping was not found. She did not appear to be having issues at school or home. She was found dead in the school, lacking any evidence for murder. Her death was ruled as suicide by hanging. Uh, name unknown? Okay. Uh, a delusional woman who began wandering around the school two or three years ago will sometimes trespass onto school grounds, but does not show any concerning behavior. No, just that she's trespassing. She may be involved with the uh, accident three years ago, but there is no evidence linking her. Exhibits a particular sensitivity to the alarms, fire and security. They cause her to have seizures. Okay. A handle made of wood, it looks like it can be fitted to something to unlock a place you couldn't open before. Smashing, I like that. I do not like that. Anything there? Anything there? It's locked with a device. That certainly doesn't help me. Alright, so we're getting somewhere. Water disconnection report. The water to the main building has been disconnected due to an undetermined reason. However, a single sink in the science lab on the third floor of main building 2 still has running water. The students seem to find this disturbing. A major repair will be conducted to rectify our current water problem. Okay, so... Do we check out the science lab sink? I haven't been in there yet. Oh, you fuck. I didn't even see you there. Uh, oh, I should have run in there. Excuse me, sir. Fucking hell. Right, I need to save this game fast because I'm be gutted if I die again. The fuck is that? Right, let's just hide out. Am I safe? I hope I'm safe. Oh, there's no save point on this floor. I need some more food though. I will have that, thank you very much. I need to find some more coins because I'm about out. Where they said the science lab. Oh shit, that's the next floor. You freaking dumbass. Okay, I can't get into the science lab yet. <sighs> I 
and I can't get into the music room either. What the hell was that? Find my body for me. The weather was so hot that it made it hard to breathe and the cockades would not stop chirping. The foreman in charge of construction to connect the new building to the old found everything irritating in his opinion. It was a pointless project, but he wasn't going to complain since it was paid work. The sun blazed even hotter after lunch and heat waves rose off the asphalt. The workers protested that it was too hot to work. The foreman was both jealous and spiteful of the brash attitude of the workers. However, he agreed it was too hot to work. The foreman ordered his workers to take a break. No progress was being made anyways, and if a worker happened to get heat stroke, it would just make matters worse. Everyone found a spot in the shade and slept soundly. Then something happened while everyone was deep in sleep. A loud cracking sound echoed around the campus. It sounded like the scaffolding had crashed through the safety net. Still drowsy from their nap, the workers paid no attention to it and went back to sleep. It was a different matter for the foreman. If there was indeed a problem with the safety net, it would be his responsibility. He yelled at his workers to check out the safety net, but they pretended like they didn't hear him. Annoyed, the foreman realised that he had to check it out himself. The workers who were debating whether to get up or not were glad that the foreman had left without them. Suddenly the foreman yelled and then was cut off, leaving an eerie silence. The workers jumped up and rushed to the foreman. The foreman was frozen in shock, staring at a terrible sight. Where the scaffolding had fallen through the safety net was the dead body of a woman. The woman's corpse had no head. The foreman and the workers instantly recognised the dead woman as someone who worked in a local restaurant. From the chopped stump of her neck, dark red blood was spewing out, soaking into the ground. The foreman and the workers kept their mouths shut and moved quickly. It was the first time they had worked together so harmoniously. Despite searching everywhere, they could not find the missing head. In the end, they buried the body in the cement and sent it to a waste facility. It seemed like they did a perfect job covering up what had happened. No one would ever know what had happened aside from themselves. For some reason, though, strange accidents kept on happening after the incident, frequently than before. This slowed progress on construction and a rumour spread among the workers that there was a ghost at the site. The foreman fumed with anger and ordered his men to keep their mouths shut. Then a pulley from the fourth floor fell and crushed a worker to death. While his body had been mangled by the pulley, his head was strangely unharmed. The foreman became terrified and decided to turn himself into the police. Even then rumours persisted that a floating head could sometimes be seen. Eventually the construction work was complete, uh, completed despite the slow progress. When the school reopened after summer break they were shocked to find the dead woman's head in the garden. They say that the head looked as if it had just been cut off the body, despite the fact that it had been out in the heat of the summer for weeks. This school is fucked. Literally. Fucked. That noise gets me every time. Right, let's go and see if I miss something in the uh, principal's office. See what's going on down there. Which was on the first floor. I'm pretty sure. What was that? Why is that? I am not very good at this search in Malarkey. Oh no! <laughs> Hello! Oh god. It's locked with a device. What? 
What is that? Oh, hello, what's this? Is this some sort of puzzle? Why'd the light go off? Oh, 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 hello. What's whoa, hello, what is that? Oh for God's sake, it's too dark. What's that all about? That's a light up. Ooh, this is where we put our cassette in. Thank you very much. Is it? I don't know. Why the hell has the principal got a creepy... I don't fucking like you. So what the hell's up there then? So fucked. I didn't even get a chance to see what that said. It was, was it something about the faculty office? Oh, that's next door. That's perfect. I don't know if I've looked in there already. Guess not. Close that just in case. Aha. Faculty Office 2 key. Magic. Where's that then? Ta da! Oh shit. Shit. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What the hell is that noise? Okay, that's fucking weird. I haven't heard that one before. Right. Saving it. Thank you all very much for watching. That is the end of this episode and I'll catch you in the next episode very soon. Have a great day guys.